T squad it's your girl Keisha aka color me pink and I am back with another celebrity home tour video today we're going to take a look at none other than the real housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore's Moore Manor we've seen it on this show but we haven't really gotten the opportunity like a look look at her home and it not be like a quick shot I'm really excited about seeing the ins and out of more manner so let's get into it and at the end i'm gonna let you guys know what i think about her crazy welcome to more manner welcome to the master bath I absolutely love coming in my master bathroom every morning because it's so bright and clean and fresh. And it's just unique. I designed this bathroom from the feature wall to the freestanding tub. I love this light. It's a lighted mirror. And if you look at it, it just gives you just so much beauty light. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I needed that much help and all, but... Um... <laughs> this is where all oh, the sexiness just slaps you upside the head. I have two shower heads. With this feature, you can alternate. If you wanna have the two shower heads on at the same time, you can. And of course, showering for two, that would be my first choice. Come this way. This is the crown jewel of the bathroom. I splurged on this toilet. It knows how you like your music. It knows how you, hot you want your seat to be when you sit down. It cleans you front and rear. And when you're done, it actually sanitizes itself, closes itself, and kisses your ass. That's all she wrote. Oh, hey! Welcome to More Manners Glam Room. I know that I'm always getting ready for a taping of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sometimes I do my own hair and makeup, and sometimes I have my full on glam team. Can you look at it from the front? Um, she always likes to do my hair from the side. Let me show you this. These walls are actually glass. When you walk in, all you see are the walls glittering and shining. It was a special process. It took about four days to complete. I have my own makeup station. It is so gorgeous and so professional that you are sure to look like a million bucks. And when I'm in here, I only do Kenya Moore hair care, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> to top it all off with this room is this amazing chandelier. It absolutely brings all the glam together. And if you stand under it, you just kind of feel like an angel because you have your own halo. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to take you on a sneak peek of Moore Manor. See you next time. I really wish you would have gotten the opportunity to see her actual bedroom. But I will say that I really did love the first floor of the home. I love how it was just one big open space with the kitchen and dining room and um, living room area. Everything was just white and just bright. And it was a lot of sunlight in the house, a lot of natural light. That's what I love, you guys. I'm literally about to go on the journey of purchasing my first home, which I'll probably be doing a series on um, once the ball really gets started. But I'm super excited about this process. And I love the way Kenya laid out her home. I love the marble that she had everywhere. The light fixtures in her home was something that I really, truly 
was taken by. I loved her lights fixtures, especially the one that was in her bathroom above that tub. That was absolutely stunning. I didn't really like the layout of the bathroom though. It was something about it that just seemed a little off to be like the feng shui of it all. But the bathroom itself was really beautiful, but it was the light fixtures more than anything and how white and pristine her home was that I really truly loved. Let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite part of Kenya's house. Let's talk down below, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. But before I go, check out the trailers for my film, Paper Heart, which is right now streaming on Tubi and Peacock, as well as another film by the name of Who You Wit, who is streaming right now on Tubi. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, you don't know. Well, uh, shorty that ran into my fiance car. It's something different about him, and I know that he has a girl, but everything about him just says that he's supposed to be mine. Like, I can honestly feel it. Man, I see you out here doing big things, man. Being here with you was really, really making me happy. I feel the same way, too. When I get home, I got a lot to handle. Oh, you got a man. You have a whole fiance at home, remember? No! Girl, did he hit you? No! I already knew how this little thing between us was gonna end. Can I be cooped up in this dirty, dingy ass motel room like this, bro? This right here, this is our reality. No! You both knew this was a good one. We got something special. I have to save myself. Don't touch me again, you know what's happening. Get out! Get out! All my life, I've been waiting for somebody to save me. I knew that it was gonna be you. Oh, I can't seem to let you go. Sorry, do I know you? Oh, it looks like your friend Dad's caught a little amnesia, huh? So maybe I can get your number, take you out for dinner. When it comes to somebody like Rock, this is his lifestyle. This is who he is. Who are you, Rock? And what do you want from me? Are you some kind of kingpin? You probably get the fan that you, you motherfucker coming from. This time I can't do shit to bother you. And they're not gonna stop until they get me. And if not me, the next in charge. And that will be you.